Okay guys, so this is just a uh, quick heads up. I was sent to this job uh, after multiple engineers have been out um, all claiming wiring faults and all sorts of different things. Um, I can't remember what the actual fault was now, but anyway, regardless of that, I'd been sent to uh, check the system over, make sure everything was okay. Um, so this is how I went about proving the electrics were good. This is the quickest and easiest way. It's not exactly quick, but it, you know everything works correctly if you do it this way. Okay, so on arrival, I've got the programmer on. It's on hot water only right now. The heating's off. Uh, here's the wiring center, and it has been rewired by someone. Um, so I'm going to gain access to that. Obviously, it's a pumped system on a three port. Um, so I'm just showing you that again. I've got access to the wiring now. So as you can see, this is a bit of a spaghetti junction. Uh, at least the cables are secure in this one. But um, you're seeing this for the first time like me. And I was trying to work out what's what. Um, just looking at the cables that were running away, seeing where they were going, trying to work out if I could identify easily what was what. Um, but as with all wiring issues, start with the things you know should be correct, which is the three-port wiring. The three-port wiring should help you identify what all the other wiring is. So there's the neutral for the three-port. And don't do, don't hold a phone and try and do this. But so I've got one test on the neutral. There you go. One on the orange. So on hot water on, we should have two forty there, and um, we do. So that is correct right now. The orange should have two forty on hot water on. So the next test is. Oh, I'm, Following that round, that goes in. So that wire there actually runs all the way across there, into there, and links across to there, and to there. So there's another three wires in there. So I need to trace what they are. that can that's a bit odd you should usually get three on an old system like this so you see that one looks like boiler you'd usually have the boiler on there the pump on there and hot water on from the cylinder stat because in a uh, in hot water mode the three port actually doesn't do anything it just sits there um, no power actually runs through that orange to the boiler but the orange is used as a point of reference when you're diagnosing things because the orange is the switch drive to the boiler, which on this one is getting power from that, which is the cylinder stat. That red wire there should be hot water on. Um, so that blue, which goes around there, in there, goes to the grey. So that is water off however there should be another wire there which there is it's linked across there that there must be off from the programmer which is a tough blue wire so let's have a look so off hot water off to the three port which is the grey and that goes in with that. Is linked across with that white. Oh. Goes in with that. Is linked across to here to that blue, and it also is goes along here to that blue there. So it's got two blues in with it. One must be from the cylinder stat, and one must be from the timer, if it's wired correctly. So let's have a look. So this is the one that's marked up cylinder stat. And we look in there. We have a blue in there. There. Which runs across, goes in there. So cylinder stat, the blue is off or satisfied from cylinder stat, which means that blue wire there must be off. 
from the timer. So if we follow that wire down, it goes in there, goes into that core there, which runs up there, runs around the back there, up, up, up. So, blue wire from the program should be hot water off. Blue wire from the cylinder set should be hot water off. Uh, and we traced out the the brown from the cylinder stat. Well, that's the boiler, sorry, it's marked up as boiler. Um, let's, let's have a look, it's linked across here, that's the pump. Linked across here. Oh. So, sorry, do that again. So, boiler, sorry, boiler, it's linked across, pump. Linked across, that red must be on from the cylinder stat. So let's go upstairs, check the cylinder stat, and then we'll take the program off and check that. And obviously, if we we'll turn the cylinder stat down, and when we do that, we should lose the 240 on the orange, and we should then get 240 on the grey. So we'll check that and confirm that. Let's just check the grey now to make sure it is off. Seventy-five volts. That's the sort of back feed you get from three ports, so that's fine. So let's turn the cylinder stat down. The grey should then get two forty, and we should lose the two forty on the orange. Okay. So that puppy goes in there. To there. Let's feel this. Mm, quite warm. Let's feel it here. Very hot, very hot indeed. So let's see, if I turn this off my nail. Nope, it's out of my pocket to turn it off. Sounded good, I heard the pump stop. You heard a nice, good, strong click from that. Let's go downstairs and confirm that that's working as it should be. Nothing there between the, uh, the orange and the neutral, and now the grey and the neutral. We've got 240, so the cylinder stats wired up correctly. Now just confirm that the program is done correctly by turning it on, leaving it on there. Sorry, turning it off there. And we'll go turn the cylinder stat up now, and we should still have 240 on this grey. So now with that up, I'll turn it to 55, uh, it's still up and on. it's off on there now so the grey wire on a free port system gets either 240 from cylinder stat or from the programmer so we've got 240 so programmer cylinder stat motorized valve all wired correctly for hot water now we'll just check it over for heating all right heating on So if we're saying that's from the programmer, let's find the heating wires. So the way we would find the heating wires, the way I would here, is what you need, by the way, in a three port, the only thing that the three port does in terms of hot water is this off. You can unwire the, uh, you can unwire a three port, as in the orange wire, the blue, the earth, the central heating one. You can pull all of them cables out we can pull all of them out and the hot water will still work. The hot water, when you turn hot water on the timer, 
the three port does nothing for hot water. Um, so if you have a hot water issue, the only thing that could be is the, the uh, mechanically the valve is jammed or the valve has failed and you've constantly got 240 on the gray. Um, but in terms of, in a general normal operation, the three port doesn't do anything um, electrically for hot water to work. Anyway, so got the heating on now and start with something you know, the three port should have 240 on the white wire. doesn't why doesn't it probably because the room stats off so now we trace the white wire which is here follow that oh it's just linked straight there to that yellow so that yellow goes down there into that gray there runs off under the floor that must be our room thermostat so the red of that grey wire goes in there, look, we'll follow that, and that most probably is going to go to the programmer. So we'll just trace that across. Oh, it doesn't, hold on. Oh, yeah, it does. So the red here comes across here. And that's it there. It goes in there with that. Oh, that earth, with that earth down there. Which runs into that core there. Which runs up there and... So if we check that, if I'm right and that's the room stat, we will have 240 on that earth wire there. There. 240. So when we now go and turn the room stat up, we will get 240 coming down that yellow, which goes into that white, which will motor the valve over. So this valve now, in hot water mode. Very little play on that. I'm just gonna turn this up. Mm -hmm. So now motor's over. clicked pumps just come on so we can be pretty confident that that all works as it should 240 on there 240 now on that red and then we will have 240 on that white so that shows the heating's all working. The valve's motored all the way over. So now if we turn the hot water on, we should see this valve move back. So, because I've left that cylinder stat in the on position now where it'd be cooling, that's all the way over. If I turn the hot water on, okay, so now just to prove that that's all correct, we're both on both demanding we should have two forty between the white and the blue which we have we should have two forty on the orange which we have and we shouldn't have 240 on the gray, which we haven't, okay? Now, I was just talking to someone actually the other day about this. You get back feed from three port valves. Um, you saw when this one was um, off for hot water, the back feed was 75 volts. If you have a Worcester RI, 
they can sometimes run off low voltages like that. And another boiler that can do that is the Glowworm Micron. With a low back feed of 70 volts, 80 volts, then bo the boilers will run and fire. Um, in the case of the Micron, it will do that without the pump running, so it will overheat. Um, now the RI uh, controls the pump itself, if I, I believe, I can't remember now. But So the RI won't overheat, but everything will come on when it shouldn't. But on a glow and micron, the boiler will just um, run until it overheats. So if you ever go to one that's overheating, check that with everything turned off, um, that it's not firing off the back feed voltage from the three port. So last but not least, going to turn the heating off and make sure that motorised valve motor's back, which it did. It's gone into hot water only. So everything here is correct and working as it should be. So white to blue, now one volt. The boiler's just closed down. So everything here is working. Electronically, everything here is working as it should. Um, I'll just get this back together and then I'm going to deal with the complaint. The reason I've checked the wiring on this job is this has been an ongoing electrical issue here with fuses blowing and uh, someone's rewired this recently, apparently. Um, and that has fixed it. Fixed that side of things. So let's just find out what's going on with the ladies heating now. Right, just so everyone knows, this is a BBU, obviously, um, and obviously I've done visuals, okay? The, the half is the right size. Uh, it needs 64 square centimetres of uh, ventilation for this back point of fire front and behind the doggy there <coughs> is an air vent. It was closable, but once upon a time someone's taken that part of it out. Uh, and measuring it, it's all okay. Okay, so I just added this bit in here. Um, so you can screenshot this and print it. I mean, I'm not the best at doing things like this, but if it helps someone, or if I tell you what, if you guys can do something better than this along these lines, then uh, send it to me. I can link it in here to help guys out. All right, thanks a lot.